Hello, beautiful souls. It is willing to feel and bear all suffering without judgment, while gently holding in it the truth of what suffering really is, the drying out of the mind addicted to suffering. This drying out is necessary so that love can ignite itself and transform deadwood into living fire. The path of freeing the heart from the effects of a fearful mind is an initiation into great power. So, that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. If this resonated with you, regardless of whether you have Gemini placements or not, do let me know in the comments under the video. Let me also know which sign you'd like me to read into next. I promise I'll be getting around to all of them. And of course, if my energy resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love. Take care, Geminis, and those of you who may not be Geminis but resonated with this reading. I am sending you all tons of love and light energy. I am feeling almost like this buzzing, light-headed sensation, sort of like a rush of energy. So I am going to read a bit more into that. What is going on here? Okay, the Magician and the Mirror. This is one of my top two twin flame cards in the deck. So it is possible that you could be someone who has been on a twin flame journey, or there could be a twin flame counterpart involved here. Although that doesn't necessarily need to be the case, this can simply speak to the balance of the divine feminine and divine masculine inner energies within yourself. Someone might be spending a lot of time rebalancing themselves internally in some way. This could also be a journey you've been on for a while, really coming to this place of balance and stability within yourself, and know that all of that is coming. In fact, for some of you, you may already be seeing evidence of those types of connections beginning to show up, just depending on what particular timeline you are on. Specifically, now, if you would like me to manifest more specific messages for you in these reading videos, one way to do that is by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Those are forms of energetic transference, and this allows me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you and your situation, both here in this video and in future reading videos as well. For some reason, I'm feeling really guided to the Ask Angels deck, and this card says, listen to your intuition. Wow, okay, that's a pretty clear message, particularly for someone listening in here who has been feeling some very strong intuitive guidance. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.